be alive so welcome everybody uh, to this yet another webinar and uh, today we have a very interesting webinar with a galaxy of uh, speakers uh, the top the title of today's uh, webinar is uh, vitro retinal surgeries in the era of digital visualization uh, surgical case presentations and at the outset i would like to inform our members and all those people who are uh, watching us on the uh, facebook youtube as well as the zoom uh, today is a little sad day because of the passing away of dr t n usekar who's the founding member and the president of was the president of the vitro retinal society of india so we will observe uh, one minute uh, silence uh, as a uh, as our homage and as our uh, tribute to the departed soul thank you and now i would uh, like to uh, introduce you the uh, chairperson of the webinar dr sairesh shroff who actually doesn't need any introduction at all he's a stalwart in the field of uh, uh, vitro retina and we've known him for years for his uh, 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 tremendous contributions in the field of uh, vitro retina he's the chair of the shroff eye center at new delhi and uh, there are several branches of shroff eye center which are there I have with me my co-moderator, uh, Dr. Rajesh Sena, who's the treasurer of All India Ophthalmological Society, uh, and professor at RP Center for Ophthalmic Sciences, AIMS, New Delhi. Uh, we also have with us uh, Professor S. Natarajan, uh, again uh, a world-renowned figure in the field of uh, vitro retina, immediate past president of AIOS, uh, and has been on several key positions in AIOS in the past, and managing director of Aditya Jyot Eye Hospital, Mumbai. we have a galaxy of speakers who have actually uh, just as we were discussing have also been uh, recipients of the ars uh, rs uh, video awards uh, several times dr uh, aditya kelkar uh, vitro retina surgeon at national institute of ophthalmology pune and dr uh, darish shroff vitro retinal surgeon and medical director shroff eye center at new delhi uh, so uh, with this i would hand over to uh, dr uh, sairesh shroff who is going to say a few words uh, about the webinar thank you namrata and good evening everyone welcome all the uh, participants and uh, presenters and and everyone who's attending this webinar this evening and on this exciting topic of uh, digital microscopy and uh, i think this has been an exciting development in the field of not just vitreo retina surgery but ophthalmic surgery in general and uh, there were as with any new technology there's always initial apprehension and resistance uh, you we all know when fluorescein angiography moved from film to digital there was a lot of hue and cry about how the resolution could never be matched but we know that ultimately it the digital completely took over because of the tremendous potential and capabilities and ease of use and and promptness which it provided now similarly with microscopy again as in any new technology there will be initial uh, hiccups teething problems but i think ultimately at some stage we will move more and more towards digital microscopy the advantages it gives us the the sort of erect uh, heads up posture and the ability for so many people to be actually getting exactly the same view as the surgeon is getting it's an excellent teaching tool the depth perception that you get is unmatched sometimes even better than what you can get with binoculars 
and of course sim simultaneously there are some challenges for example ot logistics and the placement and all have to be managed uh, depending on the position of the surgeon and the screen and so those are things which you have to adapt and learn to overcome and uh, in certain situations maybe in the resolution also in some situations we may we find may still be a little better in the binoculars than with this so but i am sure as the technology evolves and and this will be continuously improving it ultimately it may completely replace uh, the binoculars that we have conventionally used on the microscope so we have as navrata said uh, three excellent speakers who all of whom have Uh, a lot of experience on the uh, digital microscope system and uh, they will be presenting uh, their views the, the surgical videos and and simultaneously also i suppose the great advantages as well as possibly some drawbacks of these systems i think first of all we have uh, professor dr natrajan he will be our first speaker and he's a person with a vast experience in this and everybody has namrata said he needs no introduction so it's over to you dr natrajan thank you cyrus and uh, me and cyrus go a long way and cyrus grandfather probably was part of mumbai some time and i'm happy to say that and also i'll share my screen thank you namrata and rajesh all india ophthalmic society for uh, giving this opportunity for virtual retinal surgeries so So I just want to tell sell a few words uh, regarding Dr. T. N. Utsaker, and uh, this is the first uh, slide. I we already paid homage to him for a minute. And Dr. T. N. Utsaker was born in January 1923 in a small village called Kadus near Pune in Maharashtra. And then later he did his schooling, and then uh, he was a undergraduate, postgraduate lecturer. assistant professor professor and head of the department in uh, gs at medical college and kem hospital the king edward memorial hospital which is uh, one of the pioneer institutions in the country which is going to celebrate a uh, centenary in, in a few years and uh, he has produced a lot of uh, uh, students and specifically dr rumi jahangir was his uh, young contemporary who became head and retired and he is also the president of the college of physicians and surgeons in mumbai the other uh, thing is uh, when i came from madras to there was madras in 1988 to bombay and i think and other association with upsiders is cyrus also shankarnetra alumni and the same alma mater as i am so we are connected and we all the time learn with the, thanks to dr s badinath my chief and mentor for uh, even uh, darius and uh, including uh, cyrus so the uh, doctor said he used to visit shankarnetra but i never knew i'm going to shift to uh, bombay but when i came from madras to bombay in bombay hospital dr usegar was the chief of vitreal surgery but surgery there but he was operating once a month there but uh, everybody said oh your dr usegar is there how will you survive and i didn't know anything about him personally but i i'm still uh, happy that i met him in the steps in bombay hospital and i just introduced myself sir i don't know whether you remember me i am dr natarajan i am trained by dr badinath and i and he was so kind and he took care of me as his own son and that time atul was uh, i think probably Probably undergraduate, and later he did his MS and went to Shankaratnagar again uh, as a veterinary surgeon, and he is now uh, consultant veterinary surgeon in uh, Jaslo. The reason I'm talking more is Dr. Sekar did not have a formal training as veterinary surgery, and he 